Hey guys, welcome to RGS and finally Android O is here for the OnePlus 2. This is unofficial and this is just the third build of this ROM so there are literally lots of bugs but it works and you would get updates day to day I guess. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let me start with the benchmarking and the benchmarking score I got for this is 69,339 which is really low for the latest version of Android but the point here is the phone did not heat up while I was doing the benchmark test. That clearly states that the CPU was not using its complete performance maybe it's due to some overclocking and underclocking issues. This is just the third iteration so we should not expect too much out of it. It would definitely get its updates day to day. So you sh uh, do expect some lag while using this. So come to the fingerprint scanner. Point number one, it's working. Point number two, it's not that good. I mean like it's slow, but it would definitely get its improvements with the updates, I guess. So that's it for the fingerprint scanner, it works. The pop-up menus are also available by default uh, for almost every single Google app, I guess. So in Android Audio, we got this new feature called as picture in picture, which you can enable by going to settings, apps and notifications, advanced, special actors and there you can find this picture in picture thingy and only selected apps can use this picture in picture feature and also some apps are not working because this is an early build but in my test maps was working so when you start a navigation and press the home key it's gonna minimize the whole application and give you access to the background content and also you can interact with it you can full maximize it minimize it and do whatever you want and also if you close it it's not gonna shut down the application it's gonna minimize it so you can find it in the notification bar and come to YouTube which also has picture-in-picture picture, but is not working now maybe that's because due to some bugs and stuff you guys come to the biggest change in Android O the status bar well it has changed from black to white that's the major change you can find in the status bar but come to the minor changes as far as I have known till now, I don't know if you can change it or not, but the toggles are 3 by 3 by 2 so you only get 6 toggles per page and there are no, not many toggles to add also. And I don't know, if, but, but these, uh, some of the notifications, they just don't do anything, they just stay there, they're dummy, they're idiotic. But the animation of opening the notifications is really good, that's one thing which has been added to Android Oreo. But if you want to change the UI settings of the system, you just go to the status bar, keep pressing the settings icon, then you have this option of turning on the system UI tuner and you get this toast message, a toast message saying that you have turned it on. Well, after that go to the about section and there you can find system UI tuner. Well, with this you can tune some of the settings in your mobile, well you figure it out. I just can't explain it right now because it's way too complicated stuff. Coming to the settings, some of the things have been changed, changed like the swipe menu in the Android Nougat is no more here and almost every single setting has been categorized really beautifully and mostly that's what I can say about the settings, you can just mess up with that, that's it. And coming to one of the most important points I look at in a phone is the battery life. And the battery life in this phone it has been increased phenomenally with this particular ROM or you can just call it Android Oreo ROM or something because this is the only ROM out there. But the what, day 1 or day 2 after flashing this the battery life was not that good. After that it did increase phenomenally and I did love it compared to other ROMs like I have. I have come from Android Nougat Resurrection and the battery life in this particular ROM is really good compared to that ROM. And for the users who use Geo, this ROM has got OLTE function in it. You guys are safe. And coming to the Easter egg. There is an Easter egg in this, but I don't understand what it is, you know, trying to convey. There's an octopus over here and you can interact with it, I, but I just don't know why. Why is it all there? I'm mean, like, seriously, why? 
So coming to the bugs, the main bug I have, I've been facing since the last three days is the camera. The camera is not working and I don't know what bugs you would hate because I love taking pictures so I hate this bug. I don't know about you guys. So to tell you guys simply, there are many bugs but they would definitely be resolved in the future builds. So coming to the final question, if you ask me can I flash it or not, yeah you can definitely flash it. I've been using this phone, using this ROM as my daily driver since the past three days and the only problem I faced mostly is with the camera and that's it. Everything else is working and if, if you have any bugs you can just tell it to the creator or someone who would resolve this as fast as possible. So all the links are available in the description for the XDR thread. So thank you for watching RGS like and subscribe if you guys have any doubts please comment.